That was me. Hello. Today this is me. And I want to talk about why do I help others learn? We probably learn in school this formula, E equals MC squared, and it's a theory of relativity, and everything is relative to the other. But I learned it differently. The E stands for effectiveness. So how effective we are in what we do, how we do it, how complete we do it, how confident we are, that's how effective we are. And that's the E for effectiveness. The M is going to stand for material. So just like N stands for matter, M stands for material. And I'm talking about the material that is learned. So we learn in a lot of different ways. Hopefully some of it starts out with that obscure little mark, a question mark. I like to turn that into a why. Why? So we have inputs that go into this why. Think of it like a funnel. And I have the opportunity as an instructor to help put things into that funnel. I help to make that person understand is my goal. I've got to do a number of things to make that happen. Today, a lot of people learn by searching. They go online and they search and they search for a solution and they can get a solution, but they really didn't learn. My job as an instructor and I get the biggest kick in the world out of helping people understand what they work on and how it works. If you do research, you start to get an understanding. And when we put research into this funnel, when I take my research and knowledge and put it into that funnel, that's a part of what I share for the material piece of it. Then we come down to C squared. C is what I call connectiveness. And yes, I think I made that word up. It's relating knowledge. And it's relating knowledge together. And the idea is we connect all the pieces of knowledge we've learned and our understanding. And we put them here. And we drive this to change from material learned to material understood. The connectiveness is the motivation or the fire that as an instructor I try to share and get in with the students to give them a passion to want to learn. And their connectiveness is the piece they have to do. They can learn a lot of this, but unless they use it and put it together, it's useless. The last part to understand in this unified theory of relativity is black holes. And yes, there is a black hole, and that black hole is what we don't know. We don't know what we don't know. We have to be humble and have our mind open, especially after years in the field, to learn more things and to expand our knowledge. That's important. I get satisfaction out of helping students learn and understand. I get satisfaction helping others grow. It's great to meet new people, to interact with them in class. It's an opportunity for me to give back to our industry, to share my experiences and knowledge and abilities, and I can help other people be better at what they do. My name's Rick Blank, and I'm honored to be part of the top 25. I'll bet you learned something. <laughs>